All right, we're out here today doing some edge feathering. This is what this field looks like. <laughs> and this over here we already did. So we'll continue on this field and see what it looks like after. So I want to walk you through what I did today. I spent about six or so hours uh, on this first day cutting this field. My whole goal with this is to improve the wildlife habitat, particularly for deer. But uh, with some of this cutting, with thickening up some of these field edges, I want the does to be, feel comfortable and have security bedding near food sources, and also to improve the habitat for quail and rabbit. And I think we were able to do that by thickening up these edges, by taking some of these cedars, hickories, and ash trees. Now, the emerald ash borer has hit pretty hard in this area, in many areas here in the last several years. A lot of these trees for ash are, are dying anyway. So took some of them down. Got to be careful cutting them. Uh, got some cover on, with, cover on the ground with them cedar trees. And with the hickory tree, you know, it's not a tree for everybody to cut. You know, talk with your forester, but they do have some commercial value. Not huge dollars, but they do have some commercial value. I'm not necessarily concerned with that. There, these trees are a long way off from that potential, and uh, you know, for me, they're better off on the ground. Now, they do have some benefit to squirrels, but that's not one of my major focuses. So, you know, for me, they're better off on the ground. So, we'll get ready to plant some chestnut and persimmons. This field we're going to clear out here. They had some corn and milo. <laughs> uh, so we're going to uh, uh, do a little edge feathering. Got some hackberry here and this is tree of heaven. We want to get rid of that and spray that. So that's what it looks like before. So we got this field cut and we went a few trees deep here, probably about 10, 15 yards deep into the woods. And got a lot of cover on the ground here. And eventually we'll put some productive trees in here, but for now that cover will really help out some of the bedding and habitat for, for smaller game. <laughs> 